Hey, for everybody on here, the you know, I wanted to say this um, about uh, about Jason in, in the you know I've had the wholesalers toolbox for going on ten years, and I've never before I started working with Jason, I've never I've never done something like this, like webinars or anything with. Um, I don't want to call you a guru because that's you know that might you know put you in the wrong category. But with somebody with a with a with a coach, the, you know somebody that does these bigger coaching programs, and because Jason and I live down here uh, close to each other, he invited me to he hosts a uh, two day blueprint down here where he teaches people how to go in and attack a city thirty four different ways with marketing. Uh, so you can, you know, generate all this, this business, all these leads and really become a, uh, you know, the go to person in your market. So I went to Jason's event a couple of times. He invited me to come and set through it. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, you know, th- I saw that he was the real deal. He wasn't somebody that, you know, just, you know, wholesaled a few houses or did a couple of deals and said, Hey, I'm going to throw a program together. Uh, and I'll let Jason get into it, but he's got, you know, just a, a ton of experience. And he said some, uh, had some opportunities that have really led him experiment with marketing and, and learn how to market the right way. He had, uh, you know, working with some companies, he had a lot of money to use to, to test different methods and things. So, you know, when I saw him doing all that and talking about it and his background and everything, I thought, you know, Jason, somebody that I would trust to to work with. Right. Because a lot of the guys, you know, I don't know them and their products. You know, you get a lot of negative feedback about their products and stuff. None of that with Jason. So that's why that's why we're here on this webinar together. Wow. You're in danger of having me grow feelings. That was very sweet. Of me. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I can put my glasses back on. See who we got here. Notre Dame. Steven, how you doing? Nancy, Glenn. All right, all right, man. You want to get rolling? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, Just let me know. I'll, uh, seven after, so we'll. Uh, you know, if I get other people jumping in, we'll. Uh, I'll try to get them a, a replay of this. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so let me go to share my screen. Okay, you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir, we can. Okay, so, um, David, thank you for uh, having me. Uh, Everyone else here, good evening. So what we're going to do is we're just going to walk you through some stuff. Like David said, he sat in on on some of our build-outs of Done It For Large Companies. I'll get into that in a little bit that need 40, 50 homes a month. So... All that should simply mean is you're getting ready to take some notes or screenshots on some of the stuff I'm going to show you is that when you get hired to do 40 or 50 homes a month, uh, the one thing that uh, rings true every single time is that I can't afford to miss a deal. And um, so uh, David said in on on what we call a, a build out where we attack cities 34 ways. And then he said, hey, can we do a can we do a webinar? Can we do a training tonight and just show everybody? one of the 34 things, which happens to be my favorite um, because we track everything across America, um, like which lead sources give us the biggest bang for a buck. So what I'm going to do is walk you uh, through tonight and show you what most people do and then how you can do some things that are vastly different to get in front of the good, not just the good leads, but uh, the good leads and engage these property owners the right way so you can close them out. And the fun part for me is that we're getting motivated leads or not on the MLS and these individuals will beg you for help. Like I just talked to a lady, her name is Chevy this morning. Um, who's a client. She just hit go on a campaign and she's like, my phone won't stop ringing and they're inbound phone calls, which we'll get into. And, um, but as David said, um, he sat in on it. So he knows the level of detail we go in. So I'm just going to press go here and get the, get the ball rolling and um, just be ready to take some screenshots and take some notes. And if we have a little bit of time at the end, um, David, you just let me know and I'm happy to do a little Q and A. Yep. I just put that in the uh, chat box that uh, at the end we would take some questions. So we are Okay, good. cool. So first of all, the, one of the most common questions I get is who is this for? Um, as you see here on the screen, 
it really makes no difference to me if you're brand new. Um, that's completely fine. Or if you're already doing deals and you simply want to have stronger lead flow and close out more deals, like I said, when I get hired to average 50 homes a month, uh, that's that's real pressure uh, to make sure that we get in front of the good stuff. Or if you're just considering, you know, you've been dipping your toes in the water, but um, you want to help people. This is one of the lead sources that that these people need a lot of help. And when you engage them the right way, they'll tell you everything so that you can actually be a solution for them. So it's really for anybody, whether you've been doing it a while um, or you're brand new or you're just thinking about getting started. Now, on this training, I'm going to talk to you about, as I said before, my favorite lead source of all time. Again, we close deals 34 different ways. Most investors that you network with and shake hands do one or two things. So well, we have we have a knowledge base based upon 34 different lead funnels that lead back to us. And the fun part for me is that this is my favorite lead source where we literally have distressed homeowners coming to us and we don't have to worry about, you know, being on a podcast or uh, listening to a guru that says, hey, buy this list and then just say, hey, I'll, I'll pay cash for your house. Like homeowners, homeowners are more like, like that game's over, like. They, they, they get that 50 times a day. So we're going to do this vastly different. And then why you can stop all of the old school, what I call spray and pray marketing tactics, where they say, just grab a list and be consistent and close deals. Uh, you'll clearly see that we're, we're not going to do any of that because that's just a, a monumental waste of time. That list, that list game is uh, like you said, that's been done for a while. No, I always, yeah, you're right, David. I always joke and say, Hey, uh, why don't you just have a real estate investor get together and everybody just talk about what list are you grabbing? What list are you grabbing? Like that is not the way folks way better way to do it. That's why I'm glad you're here and, and you're, we'll help you sharpen the sword a little bit here. So what are we going to do? We're going to help desperate homeowners and you can get paid well to do it. The fun part for me is that I don't view anybody as competition when you do it the way that I'm going to walk you through tonight. And then absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt, there's no more chasing down sellers. And you actually, you actually get to start attracting people that are coming to you, begging you to help them. And the fun part is that it's an inbound lead. I think everybody knows what that means. If you don't, that simply means they're reaching out to you. You are not reaching out to them. Okay. So these homeowners, they need help right now. And because of the situation they're in, they're willing to work with you and sell you their house at a significant discount. So essentially what we're talking about is how can month in, month out, we can make five figures a month and eliminate all the guesswork or wasting time or wasting marketing dollars, which literally drives me insane. So we're going to show you how we can do that. And um, so if you stay to the end too, uh, like I said, we'll do some Q&A, but I'm also going to break down. So I'm going to walk you through the lead source and how we do it. But then I'm also going to break down a case study so you can see a real world example of this is what we did. Here's how we engaged them. And here's how we made just under $72,000 and literally less than 30 days. Let's do it. Yeah. So the housekeeping items, I think everybody knows this. Turn off distractions, shut other windows or tabs. Get ready to take some notes and we live in the 21st century. So get ready to take some screenshots or take some photos with your phone. And I'll tell you which slides as we get to those, which ones I want you to pay close attention to. Okay. So here are some things that you need to know uh, because it floats out there in the universe. And, and again, it's one of my pet peeves. This isn't get rich quick. I'll tell you this. If you do, if you do step by step, what I'm going to show you, you can certainly get rich permanently, but it's not, push a button, deposit 50 grand. Um, so uh, I can tell you what you don't have to do. This isn't make 100, 200, 300 phone calls and just be consistent. And it is not the same worn out, what I call guru training. And uh, But I, this, is, this is what you got to be ready to do. You got to be ready to talk to people that need your assistance right now. And this is about becoming a problem solver that's extremely profitable for everybody. So let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, I always like to paint the picture and paint a problem and then we solve it. So here's the problem. We're all taught by the gurus, right? Your success formula is to spray and pray, outbound marketing. Um, so cold calling and then equal success. But as you see here, I always say it's like 
it's like literally wearing a blindfold and trying to hit the bullseye and throwing darts and not knowing where it's going. And then cold calling. And as you see here, the person's just worn out. Everybody's not for sale. How'd you get my number? Not for sale. Uh, all you investors are the same, blah, blah, blah. That's the problem. That's why people feel like it's hard. Quite frankly, that's why some of you are here. You're like, hey, I've experienced that. And yeah, that's not the path for me. And I mean, I, I call that the real estate investment death march. Jason, I talk to, to a lot of people and they're just, they're, they're all the frust frustration is the same with all of them. They're, you know, they're doing the cold calling, they're sending the mail and they're just getting frustrated people picking up the phone or replying to the mail, right? They're not, they're, they're, they're not working on inbound traffic, right? That's all the, and that's like you said, with the list and with the calls, it's just for everybody on here, it's a worn out tactic, right? Everything that you're being taught, you need to get people calling you, not you calling them. Yeah. So, and again, we're going to walk you through that. Absolutely. 100%, David, we live in a world uh, where when we set things up correctly and again, doing it for large clients, I, that is, that is my job, right? So, but we live in a world where we take inbound phone calls. Um, we don't wake up and say, okay, <clears throat> let's get ready for 5,000 leads and dial until our fingers bleed and, uh, or have a dialer. Uh, we take inbound phone calls. We have hours of operation and the people that are calling us know that. And it's all, it's all literally down to a science, but the real solution is getting highly motivated leads plus warm incoming calls of people that want to talk to you. And that's literally the definition of success in the real estate investment sandbox if you do this properly. So what is our number one lead source, folks? Here it is. Take a screenshot. Okay. Tax delinquent properties. Okay. So out of 34 different lead sources in any city, we're on 138 city sample size. Uh, it's always a top one, two or three lead source in any city that we track it in. Why? Because states, states put uh, laws in place to get their money and they're going to get their money come hell or high water. So um, these leads are everywhere. They're in every city across America. The homeowners are in a serious bind if you go after the right ones. And I'll repeat, if you go after the right ones, if you do go after the right ones, they typically have big equity in them and they need your help. But I, I'm going to, I'm going to fillet that open for you in a little bit. Here's what I do not want you to do. Pay attention as you're taking notes, pay attention. Here's what I don't want you to do. Okay. Jason said, I'm going to go after tax delinquent properties because he tracks it 34 ways and he, and he knows which ones get the highest bang for your buck. True. But I don't want you to run out tomorrow and grab a list. Like in the County that uh, David and I sit in right now, Pinellas County, Last check, there's 14,000 people behind on their property taxes. I, wa I want you to pare that list down to 800, 1,200, 500. And if you do it right, you're going after the ones that are, are in the biggest um, predicament from a financial standpoint and also have the best equity. So think about that. Let that sink in. If you go after the right ones, they typically have the most equity and they're in the worst financial problem. So they absolutely need your help right now. So to give you an example, as I just said, on average, across America, okay, there's 20,000 people that need your help in any given state you choose. So as you see here, total property taxes, single families, um, up 4%, $340 billion, and thousands per state are behind. So I always tell everybody this, if you, if you actually let that sink in for a second, what does that mean? Because, because David, I know you get it all the time. I get it on a daily basis. Man, can you help me? I heard you attack cities, blah, blah, blah. And um, I just need to get some good off-market leads. Well, I laugh because as you see right here, you don't have a lead problem. There's 20,000 you could go after in any state in America. And going going after individual cities, 4,000, 5,000, 8,000, 12,000, 15,000, whatever it may be. You don't have a lead problem. You have a how do I engage the right leads out of all these leads problem and engage them the right way so they actually understand why it's a good idea to work with me? That's a fair statement. But somebody saying that they can't get good off-market motivated leads, that's just simply not true. Somebody needs to, somebody needs to just pull back the curtain and, and tell you why you're going after a lead source and kind of start solving it for you, which is what I'm going to walk you through here today. Hey, hey Jason, you know what, what list that these properties typically aren't on is a absentee owner lead. 
our list. Correct. They're not on absentee owners. They're typically not on a vacant list. Yeah, right? the, my, yeah, my two favorites. Uh, hey, I've been I've been told to get a vacant list. I've been told to right. get an absentee owner list. Yeah, and let me guess, because we track it, right? You'll close one out of every fifty-two. Ninety percent of them say not for sale. How'd you get my number? Um, or tell you to go jump in a lake. And I'm so we're not talking about that. So uh, as I said, uh, there's there's a couple of case studies in here. I'm going to show you. So here's one of them. So Julie from California, okay. And uh, so her background, mortgage loan officer. She she moved here from Australia. Uh, she's done other things and had a response rate that was horrible. And she had no previous experience in the sandbox. And uh, but she closed out a deal following step by step what I'm going to be showing you here today. And and here's some details about the property. The owner contacted her inbound lead um, from her tax assistance letter, letter because we're going to build you uh, we're going to build you into a tax advocacy company because we've already spent nine years building a brand across the United States. And we'll turn you into a tax advocate where everybody in your city wants to talk to you. OK, so there's a, you know, pulling back the curtain, a little tip or a secret number one. And so on this lead, she's behind 8000 in fees and interest. Two months from losing her property. The property was no it, literally free and clear of mortgages. Let that sink in. The value is 310. And um, so her contract that she wrote was for 210. She had a buyer that bought the contract off of her for 240. So on this deal here, when the homeowner called her and asked her about her tax assistance program, which we'll be talking about. So the owner called her and said, hey, I'm calling about your tax assistance program. And Julie went step by step through the different ways that we can help the homeowner and struck a deal with the homeowner, helped the homeowner out, made 30 grand, never saw the property in person. All done virtually, uh, no getting in your car, none of that stuff. So there you go. And again, she's not even from the United States. She's from Australia. She got here and, and said, uh, there's one thing I know. I know it's that if I'm going to make money, I'm going to do it in real estate because I can make it in chunks while helping people. Now let's talk about why. Why do we want the inbound leads? Here's why. Because it's way better than the spray and pray marketing method where you're like, I did this and I, I bought this list and I spent money on this. I text message, I cult, spent money cold calling and I mailed and I just threw it out against this list and, and I was just praying to get some, uh, get some deals done. If you do this right, you take incoming calls. So that means you can just forever put the bed and, uh, you know, put us to its final resting place. No sleazy phone salesperson calling, right? You don't have to worry about whether you can make money in real estate uh, because they will call you again and again and again. And you have zero competition fighting you over these deals because we don't chase down leads. They come to us. Vastly different than what most people are used to. No more spray and pray. So once you understand how this inbound uh, lead formula works, here's what will happen. You have motivated people calling you, begging you to help them because they're running out of time. You have them telling you that they need help in one minute flat so you can solve their problems. These leads, like I said, 20,000 on average per state, they, they just keep coming. Uh, I always tell people this, bad things happen to good people on a daily basis. Losing a job, losing a loved one, having to take on medical bills of a family member. I could go on and on and on, which puts people in a bind. And when you do this right and you take incoming calls of people that are saying, hey, tell me about your, um, your tax agency, your tax advocacy agency, you'll have the income and freedom to do what you want. Um, so as David said a little, for some of you just joined, a um, little bit of my background, a little bit on me. Uh, I've been in the real estate investment sandbox for actually 26 years now. I get hired by large companies that hire me to do 40 or 50 homes a month and attack a city 34 ways. I've been doing that for a long time. Uh, nation's lead generation expert. I've spoke for almost every TV show, the Kiyosakis, you name it. Um, they hire me to, to help their students beat everyone to the good stuff. And we have 34 funnels. That's why since we track it all, I, I'm literally pulling back the curtain on my, my favorite lead source. I've closed over 3,300 investment transactions. And at this point trained over 20, 28,000 investors nationally. So that's a little bit of my background. Now, 
you know what I, I want to say this real quick, Jason. You know what I love about tax delinquent, and I did you know a lot of them in Detroit, and it's the the people know that they've got a problem. They know that they're losing the house. They know that that they've got to act quickly, right? So a lot of other property types, like you know a vacant property or probate or or an absentee tired landlord or whatever, they have you know it's a sometimes it's a longer process because they're not in such a rush. But with a tax lien property, people like I got to do something and I need somebody sure. to help me, right? So yeah, one hundred percent. For everybody listening, this you know tax liens uh, or uh, delinquent property tax you know list or or properties are the are one of the best ways to go with this. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that in. They're 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 very easy to work with. Yeah, and so the fact that you brought that up, I'll, I'll just again I'll just add some stuff in. When I say I track all lead sources, because um, I have to for these big companies, and this is always the top one, two, or three in any city um, that we track it. But this will be important for you to listen to and hear and understand. For it to be to rank number one, number two, number five, number seven, number 28, number 21, it's got to it's gotta hit three metrics that we track. Fastest conversation to contract, highest equity or payoff on the back end um, or cash flow if you're going to keep it, and then uh, uh, highest level of motivation. So fastest, so a short gestation period. I repeat, you, this isn't talk to the homeowner, quasi interested in selling, just not right, not real motivation. And then you then you wait a year and a half and rub a rabbit's foot and get a deal. You have a conversation. They called you. Hey, tell me about your tax assistance program. I see uh, you can help me three different ways. And they want to talk to you. And when they tell you the real problems, uh, you, those you strike win win deals lightning fast. So I agree with what you said. Now. Here's where you take notes. Here's where I strongly suggest you take a screenshot. Why? Why delinquent property tax? It's my favorite lead source. I already told you that. We've tested over 100 variations of what I'm going to be walking you through tonight in 138 cities. So we have a very strong sample size over approaching nine years now. Here's the big one for me. They are typically free and clear of mortgages. I'll repeat what I said earlier. In the county that we're in right now, 14,000 people behind on their property tax. But I don't. We, we teach you and show you, we don't go after 14,000. We'll pare the list down to about 1,000 or 500 and go after those because we know how to pare the list down to the free and clear ones that, are in, that have severe problems. We create win-win deals uh, with equity to produce the biggest investor profits while you get to help a homeowner because it's easy to strike a deal, folks when they don't have mortgages, okay? And um, and if they miss their tax bill, here's what I know. They have way more problems than just their property tax bill. Almost 100% of the time, they are so far gone on other things that they, they literally spill their guts and tell you, hey, here's the real pickle that I'm in. And what we did is we built around, so basically, States put laws in place to make sure they get their tax money, right? Their property tax money. So what we did is we built a full-blown tax agency and advocacy program around those tax laws to have every every state and county in America understand and all the property owners that are in a pickle, why they should be talking to us, okay? And here's what you need to know and understand. Regular investors don't know how to do this. And the biggest secret of all, which I, I tell people, please don't advertise this, um, uh, you know, outside of uh, us setting you up once, once we have you set up, this has nothing to do with tax liens. That has nothing to do with tax deed strategies because those are on the, those are on the back end. We get there first. I'll repeat, this isn't about tax deeds tax liens are going to a tax deed sale or getting a tax lien. And then my state says I have to sit on the tax lien for two years. Then I can force a tax sale and get my money back. And maybe by that, none of that. Okay. We get there first. Um, so I really hope that resonates with you. I really hope that sinks in. Uh, it's fun when everybody else does some of these, what I call back end beginner strategies and we're already there. Like 
we, we've already been at the party for months. The game's over. Uh, like, the, so the people that we go against that that do these worn out things or these old things on the back end, uh, we're already there. It's already done. It's already over. Um, so here's another one of our tax advocacy clients. Hey, hey, we hit go after three days. Got an inbound call from a lady. She was days away from having her, her house ripped out from underneath her. And they were her advocate came in and solved the problem. And they helped her find a new place that she could afford. And they made just under 17 grand. And the big thing on this, uh, and, and again, um, that's Katie, that's Noah. Uh, literally, they were both in college and, they're, and they, they presco, they pared down their list. They, did, they didn't waste time, energy, or money going after the wrong leads. Their phone started ringing. And my favorite part of this is that my phone is still blowing up with folks that need my help. Thanks, Katie. Here's Joe. Uh, Fifty thousand dollars in June. Thank you, just from just from the one lead source. Von Trees, first deal right out of the gate, twenty eight nine ninety, just under twenty nine grand. Hey, I want to make sure to thank you for your blueprint. Um, uh, I sell or waltz them because uh, we teach you how to do that. Okay. Hey, I sell or waltz them because we teach you how to talk to the homeowner and get and get homeowners once they tell you their real problems to the finish line and create a win-win right there, right out of the gate. So why? Why are they getting these deals? Here's why. We built them out as a full-blown, you might want to take a screenshot of this, as a full-blown tax care advocate for their area. So what we've done is this. We've spent years and 100 variations uh, of fine tuning and tweaking to build out uh, build out clients as a full blown tax care advocate for their area. Um, it's built out so well, and we don't just talk about buying their property. We have three separate ways that we can help them. And the fun part is is that uh, some counties once we set once we set clients up, some of the counties that you know take incoming calls, yeah, no, or homeowners are like I'm behind on my payment. I'm calling you because I got your letter. I don't know what to do. I don't think I have the capacity to pay it. What we've done to educate every county and marketplace, the counties are sending our clients leads. They're like, hey, we have a company over here that can help you multiple ways. So literally, our clients are getting leads from the county because we set them up the right way to become a tax care advocate. Okay? So here's the fun part. Everyone that's in need wants to talk to our tax care advocates about the tax care program uh, that we put in place that, they, that these – delinquent property tax homeowners receive, right? Trust is built through our task care process. So they trust us on the very first phone call and typical things that we get hit with, hey, do we need licensing? Nope, you don't need any licensing to become a task care specialist in your city and counties. Sellers feel comfortable sharing their real problems with the company that's set up to help on a deeper level versus, hey, uh, I don't... Uh, before you lose your house of tax sale, let me put some cash in your pocket. That's what most investors do. So this isn't like, this is like, you know, I, I always tell people, it's like uh, your competitors are playing checkers, but you're playing chess. Like it's just so far beyond the casual investor that you win. And here's the fun part. You'll have homeowners that call you and tell you, hey, here's what I got going on. Um, and yeah, so I do need some help. Tell me more about your program and how you can help me. And, and you'll hear this over and over and over. No one has ever offered to help me without asking for something in return, which is what we spent years perfecting. The way that we engage these homeowners, they're like, hey, you know what? Thank, just, just thank you for hearing me out. And yeah, just let me know what you can do for me. Uh, they're the most desperate sellers of all time as well. So how do you get results like this from free, ex, free, exclusive, motivated inbound leads? You simply use the tax delinquent blueprint formula, which is what I've been talking about. So we created a tax delinquent blueprint that literally sets you up as a full blown company. This isn't a lead source. This isn't a technique. This isn't an exercise in good information. We spent years developing on a national level how we build out clients that have a full-blown company and tax care agency that everybody wants to talk to. So there's two types of marketing. There's the, we'll pay cash for your house and that's expensive. It's high risk uh, because you got to play the long game. You got to mail to random people. 
They have no, they have no clue why they should be talking to you. And most of the time the sellers don't respond. And if you've been doing this for any amount of time whatsoever, probably why you're here learning some new stuff tonight, the sellers are pissed off. Most of the time they're mad. And why? Because of the approach. Hey, I didn't know if you'd be interested in an offer. We're looking to buy one more house in the area. They've heard that a thousand times. It doesn't work. Hey, Jason, funny, funny thing about that, about your point, bullet point one there. Mm-hmm. When when I started wholesaling and I got my first few deals done, I was, you know, I was going out doing some driving for dollars and stuff. And then I thought, you know, I hear everybody talking about buying a list and doing mail. So I had closed some deals and I'm like, I'm going to take several thousand dollars, buy a list and drop mail to this absentee owner list that I'm buying. So I did it and I got it in the mail. I waited, you know, I thought, you know, three or four days, these things are going to start hitting. My phone's going to blow up with people wanting to sell their house. You know how many calls I got at two calls and they were both mad at me. I was going to say too. <laughs> yeah. Both mad at me for sending them a, sending them a letter. It was the, the, and I made a, I made a video on it on my YouTube channel, but just mailing to an absentee owner list, by far the worst marketing advice you could get from anybody. Correct. 100% agree. Now, instead of doing that, why don't we target the right homeowners? Remember I said in my example from thousands down to a few and then let them know, Hey, do you know that we're a tax agency? We have several different ways we can help you. We know what the state tax rules are and we'd like to talk to you about it. And then they start calling and calling and calling. And here's the fun part. When you go after the right ones, cause we make the list small, they need to sell. Okay. So what you do is you spend a fraction in marketing. You could literally start closing deals immediately because they, they, they say, yeah, you know what? I'm out of time. It's repeatable and predictable. And again, you didn't call them. They're calling you and they're calling saying, Hey, I got your tax advocacy letter. Uh, I see that you can educate me and you have several different ways that you can help me. There's a tax assistance code here. Uh, it says to let you know what the code is and they're calling and, th- and they want to know what you have to tell them. So as I said, the tax delinquent blueprint, what do we do? Here's what we do. We use state tax laws to your advantage. You become your city and counties as many as you want. You're, you become the city and county tax care advocate for your area. Okay. They're the most highly targeted leads, hands down. Sellers call on you to see how you can help them. They're ready to talk. Full-blown, built-out tax assistance program. There's there's different uh, with three different help buckets that we put them in. They'll be calling you and saying, hey, I'm calling about your program. There's a tax assistance code, TAC424, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, no more competition. Let them throw away their money on horrible marketing practices while your phone lights up like a Christmas tree. As I said before, I get paid by big companies to suck all of the deals out of the marketplace, 34 ways. What I'm walking you through right now is the number one way that we close the most deals with the biggest equity spreads on the back end, hands down. By the way, I'll go back here. You might want to screenshot this one. This is why. This is what we do. This is what we build out. Uh, Homeowners don't call us and be like, hey, I got some marketing from you um, about my house and delinquent taxes. They don't say that. They call and say, hey, uh, I got your tax advocacy letter. Um, I see there's a program here. I see that uh, I tell you my problems. I wait 48 hours. You have three separate ways you can help me. There's a tax assistance code here. That's how they call you. They want to speak to you. So here's how it works. Remember I said, we'll go from the old way to the new way. Spray and pray method. Grab a list. I got 10,000 leads on this list. And boom, you're marketing to them the old spray and pray way. But here's what we do. We reduce the list. Motivation number one, they don't live in the property. Then we pare down the list even more. They live out of state. They have trouble paying their bills. Now we're down 800. You see how we're not wasting money, folks? And I'm just giving you an example here. So we went from 10,000 down to 800, but this still, that's not even good enough for us. Okay, so we're going to pare it down even further. So here's Tiffany from Florida. Uh, her background, former NFL cheerleader, um, has done deals without consistency. 
Um, she does have a real estate license, so you don't need to be licensed, but she has one, which is fine. Uh, busy schedule with the family. So here's this particular deal. The owner contacted Tiffany about her tax advocacy program. They were behind, see a consistent theme here, several thousand plus fees and interest. Uh, they needed help relocating to be closer to family. They were a few months away from losing it. Yet again, property was free and clear, no existing mortgage liens. It's worth 415. She contracted for 187. She resold it to somebody else for 235. She helped the homeowner that was ready to spill their guts and then made $47,000 on one transaction. Just like that. So here's what we're going to do. No more spraying and praying and just throwing, throwing money into the wind. So we're going to create the inbound tax advocacy lead formula system. So remember, we pared it down to 800, right? I want to give you a typical campaign that we did. Then we refined the list even further. Three bedroom, one bath. We went down to 375. Then we pressed go and sent out our tax advocacy letters. Um, also, uh, we also build out your tax advocacy company website. So um, in the marketplace and online, they know who you are and why they should talk to you and why they should ask you about your tax assistance code and your program. But here's what I want you to pay attention to. 87, by the, by the nature of the way that we do this, 87% of the visitors that visit our tax assistance website that we set up for our clients on this campaign, this particular campaign, 87% of the people that landed there filled out the form and our clients got an email saying, hey, I want to talk to you. So let's go over the metrics of this one that we pared down to 375. Week one, inbound calls, 21%, 78. Week two, 19%, 71. So inbound calls were 149 from 375. 16% of them we made offers to. So we made 23 offers. We got three of them accepted. Average profit per deal was 16.8. So that campaign that we didn't start with 10,000, we pared down to 375 following step by step uh, how we do it, produced our, our ROI, okay, of 50,400 minus our expenses uh, to Presco and our assistance marketing. So if you minus that out, we're still over 50 grand net. 13,304% return. That's where you want to be. I was, I see when you showed the first graphic of the 87% of visitors completing the form, I was going to say that's astonishing, but really every metric you showed on that page is astonishing. But, but all of it, I mean, like from 375 mailers or letters. Correct. Making making fifty grand is it, that's insane in itself. But but all the numbers are great. Uh, yeah. So the metrics again, and, and think about this as you're digesting this. This didn't happen overnight, folks. It's constant tweaking and testing. Um, we went from a 40, 40 city sample size, then we graduated to seventy five, uh, then we hit ninety, then we went over a hundred. Then we went to 110, 120, and we're up to 138 markets that we've tested this in over a long period of time. The metrics that you're seeing here, uh, we've been hitting for the for the last two or three years consistently because we finally got to a point to where it was so it was buttoned up so well that everyone in the city once we set once we set a client up and presses go, everybody's like, yeah. Um, I actually heard from somebody else that you guys are a tax advocacy company and you have multiple ways to help me and people just keep coming and coming. And when it's done and buttoned up, right. Uh, some of you will have the County sending you leads when people call in and, and let that sink in. Somebody calls the County. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do. I can't pay my, Hey, why don't you call this company? It's a third party referral to you. At that point, the game's over folks. So here's what we perfected. We perfected the tax assistance advocacy program. And um, so uh, tax assistance and everyone in every county that you enter, knowing you and your company um, are a tax advocacy and, and, and their advocate to help them, 
versus the state destroys the I'll pay for cash method. Okay. The different, it becomes the difference in hangups. Most investors get frustrated because it, they make outbound calls and not for sale, screw you, hang up on you. And then the difference here is that when we do it right is motivated sellers that are calling us. Um, we know what exact list that you need to send to. It's highly specialized. Uh, as it, like we just had one, it was, a, it was a county in Oklahoma. And we pared that list down from 8,400 down to, I think, 416. And our client, we set them up, we press go. And they're like, I've got more calls off of this 416 sample size than I did off of a uh, high equity list where I had 11,000 people. They're like, this is nothing short of crazy to me. Okay. This is well beyond a tax deed or a tax lien strategy. That's back in, um, that's back end at the end stuff. We get there first, folks. And then we show you how we can deploy your entire full blown new company in your marketplace like a pro. And how often do we need to reach out to these leads? And um, so you don't have to live in a world where, well, if I'm just consistent, I'll close a deal. That is not the world we live in. Okay. And then uh, the secret sauce is they call about your tax assistance code, TAC424. Hey, I'm calling about your code here. It said to ask this, this, and this. Literally, they usually, the fun part is, is uh, they usually call with their spouse there. They're like, yeah, can you walk us through this, please? And you finally get to live in a world where desperate homeowners want to work with you as an expert while making a healthy living. They come to you as an expert. You're an advocacy company. You're not an investor. You're not wearing your investor hat. I was going to ask you, Jason, and, and the answer might be, you don't need to, but, but is there any, have you ever tested any other ways of, of driving people or, you know, people delinquent on their taxes to the website or, or is just the sending them the letters after you've narrowed down the criteria enough and you don't, you don't have to market it any other way. Um, yeah, no, you don't have to market any other way, but we test all that. We actually have step by step in there. Um, I just talked to, uh, I talked to, uh, a woman that's in uh, our tax advocacy build out right now. She just pressed go and and her pressing go wasn't sending out letters. Hers was uh, sending everybody a text message saying, hey, a letter's on the way, um, but feel free to give us a call about our tax advocacy program. Uh, we can help you with your back taxes. Just reference the tax assistance code TAC424, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, my mail hasn't even gone out yet. And I'm already getting response, text messages, and phone calls. Um, so we show you, we have all that stuff buttoned up. All the things. Yeah, you know, I was, I was thinking when you were going through it, I was thinking, you know, what would be great is on the website putting like a, a Facebook retargeting pixel. So like once somebody came to your website, then they would start getting ads popping up on their Facebook feed for, for you know, tax advocacy. But mm -hmm. if you're getting an 80, 87 percent opt in rate, I don't I don't even know that you would need. It. No, you don't even need right. to do that. Nope. You, like crazy. Here, here's why. Um, here's what this solves as well. And I know that when you're taking notes and listening here, um, I'm going to slow down for one second and say this to you. Do you know what else this solves? Here's what it solves. It solves you having to live in the follow up until the end of time game. Because when they call you and tell you their real problems on the very first phone call, and they ask you about your program and there's a program code because they want to make sure that they get the right program when they're talking to you, they tell you everything. You know what that eliminates? That eliminates them just kind of, yeah, I know I'm in a pickle. I'm trying to figure it out. Just, yeah, follow up with me. Now you got to follow up with them. You don't have any information. So what it does is it streamlines the level of relationship from the very moment you speak to them. And um, so what that means is that I don't need to follow up with, I'm going to, I'm going to mail them, text them and call them 50 times. I don't have to do that. I already have the relationship with them on the very first phone call. I'm literally just going to prescribe three different solutions and have them choose an option. I'll repeat that by the way, too. Uh, most, of, most people live in a world where okay, I got a motivated lead and they're in a pickle. So I'm going to explain to them why they're in a pickle and see if I can get a contract. That's that's regular investor world. 
Uh, I simply have the conversation and say, hey, we have three separate ways here that we can help you. Uh, it go, we'll put you in three different buckets. You choose which one um, you think works best for you and, uh, and we'll get it done. Uh, we are not going to let you lose this property at tax sale. And they want to work with us. And I don't live in a world where I need to follow up whatsoever. Here's another client. We set them up. And again, same, same thing. My phone's blowing up. And, uh, and now my website's starting to pick up steam as well. <laughs> Not sure. Man, oh, man. So here's how it works. So get ready to take a screenshot. So here's what we do when, when we set everything up. I just want you to see the flow of how we go through this and how it works. First thing we do, uh, we get the lead list delivered from the county, okay? So we get the lead list delivered from the county and we pare down that lead list and then we press go on the tax assistance and tax advocacy um, letters to, to all the right ones. So again, paring down the list, you saw my example, 10,000 down to 375. They call you, you don't call them, they call you. You present solutions to the homeowner multiple different ways, make an offer, you get your offer accepted, you sell the contract. So uh, unless you want to keep it, if you want to keep it, then you keep it, right? Uh, but 70% of the time I wholesale the deal. So I'll sell the contract to a cash buyer. And by the way, we also show you how to do that. We have 10 different ways in any zip code you write a contract to get the best cash buyers, not just cash buyers, the best ones. Uh, we agree to a closing date with the buyer and the seller. Everybody signs, seller's happy, and cash buyer that you beat them to that deal. And they said, yeah, I'll buy that off of you. They're happy. You're happy. You collect a $25,000 assignment fee. We celebrate. And then my favorite of all, we rinse and repeat. For the rest of your investment career, if you're set up to win on the front end and do it streamlined, then every investor you network with and shake hands for the rest of your life, just smile internally and don't say it out loud because it would be awkward, but shake their hand and be like, you have no chance. Everybody does the same worn out stuff. They have no chance. People like we get referrals, by the way, when this is done right, these homeowners refer other people to you. They're like, yeah, I talked to this advocacy company and um, they helped me at a level that no one else has ever helped me. They educated me. They, they told me what what I can do, what's going to happen, how, how they can help multiple ways. They send referral after referral, folks. Here's Scott Jordan. So he went down, even got more granular based upon our step-by-step. -step. He, he followed all the rules, pared it down from thousands, and then went specific to one uh, to one subdivision had 20 mailings, had 16 calls. And the, and the best part for me, um, like from the feedback that I got from him was that 15 of the 16 properties were free and clear. Th those deals are closed, folks. When the people come to you and, and they have the problems at this level and they're free and clear, that means they have real problems. They would have already unlocked the equity. You get that, right? They would have already unlocked the equity if they could. So we know by paring it down to the right ones, when they call and they're free and clear, there is no other path but to choose one of your options. Yeah, they can't even get, apparently get a, uh, like a home equity line at that point, right? They're yeah, they would have already done it. They would have already done it. They yeah. would have already freaking done it. So that's why these... That's why paring down the list and, and doing this right way as an advocacy company is like a bona fide home run. Help them profit well from it. So here's Langston. Uh, set it up. He he pressed go. Um, got he went he go on a list of eight seventy seven down from thousands. Beverly called, past due, needed forty grand in repairs, mold, you name it. She had no money in the bank, fixed income. And she came to him as an advocate. He helped her find a new new condo, got 150 grand in her pocket, and she could help her daughter with some other medical stuff. And he wins as well. The fact is she needed help and she felt comfortable talking to an agency. So there you go. There's Lance and he goes, hey, I'm not a check poster, which made me laugh. <laughs> hey, but uh, it's probably the first and last time I'll do it. But hey, just wanted to give a shout out because we set him up. 
We set him up to do it right. And 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 just so you know, folks, when he came to me, he goes, hey, um, I know somebody else that uh, recommended you. And they're taking phone calls and helping people. And they said that they don't even make outbound calls anymore. And he goes, I'm doing this for my kids. And he goes, so show me how this is done. And then right out of the gate, boom. And we laughed about it. He sent me a text. He's like, hey, uh, looks like my kid's uh, higher education is well on its way. Um, I enjoy this. I enjoy setting people up to do this the right way. Here's Grayson, tax delinquent, 24000 But my favorite thing and why, why I put Grayson in here is this, because I get this. He goes, but Jason, my market's saturated. The, the, but Jason, my market's saturated. So then we got to laugh about this. He goes, okay, you're right. I stand corrected. I hear that all the time, but it's oh. only it's only saturated with certain methods and going after certain people, right? Because everybody's teaching the same same thing, the same thing, the same thing. Correct. So I always tell everybody, you have two choices. Go it alone. Go on YouTube, spend 100 hours, do this, do that, spend thousands trying to figure it out. Or... We can literally set you up with a tested, predictable system that we've been doing it forever, but we've mastered it. And in the tax advocacy space across the United States, and I have big people that do tax liens and this, they're reaching out to us. They're like, you're beating us. Like when we we enter a marketplace, they're like, you're beating us to them. What are you doing? Uh, we obviously don't tell them all of our secret sauce, but, but the bottom line is, is we built a national tax assistance advocacy program that all the states and counties are, are now recognizing us. And and uh, who do you think, and, and think about this just logically, who do you think a homeowner wants to talk to? Do you think, that, do, you, do you really think that they want to talk to an investor? Do you think they're ever going to make an outbound phone call to an investor or a tax agency uh, that has multiple ways to help them, has full-blown tax assistance codes, approval programs, and different help buckets? Which do you think right now, as you're listening to me, do you think a homeowner would want to talk to? Pretty simple. So what are we talking about? I mentioned it earlier, the tax delinquent blueprint. So here's what we can do for you. We set you up as a full-blown tax advocate. It's got a core multi-lesson training advocacy program. You can be done with it in one day. There's 11 There's 11 step-by-step -step training lessons to set you up to start doing this the right way. You have all of our tax assistance scripts. You heard me say, hey, that tax assistance code, TAC424, blah, 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 right? So we have all the scripts. When they call in, you say, yeah, give me two minutes. Tell me how you got behind. This is all in the scripts, folks. Tell me how you got behind. And... Give us 48 hours. We have three separate ways that we can help you. We exist because we don't think this process is fair. So we have all of that built out down to a science. Uh, the legal wholesaling document portal, we have every document that you would ever need to strike win-win deals with the homeowners. I already mentioned earlier, uh, we, we also show you just in case you do want to wholesale some of these contracts, um, how to get cash buyers, 10 different ways. The best ones, by the way. And then our tax assistant marketing templates. Again, they're going to get letters from you. <clears throat> and David, for fun, I'll just verbalize it. But um, remember I said 70, 80, 90 variations deep. Well, everybody says, hey, um, before you lose your house, I'll put cash in your pocket. Uh, they're going to get marketing from you that says, hey, we notice you're behind on your state property taxes. At our tax care organization, we help pull funds together to pay those delinquent taxes for those who qualify. If you'd like to see if you're eligible, call us at, visit us at, email us at, and reference tax assistance code TAC424, blah, blah, blah. Program note, anybody owning more than one property cannot receive assistance on more than one property per calendar year, blah, 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 sincerely, eligibility department. Who do you think a homeowner wants to talk to? an investor or a tax advocacy company that's got a program to help them? Well, I'll tell you this. I know for a fact that investor websites don't get an 87% opt-in on their form. No. Not they even don't. close. <laughs> nope. Nope. You're right. And when you sign up, there's some extra things that we're going to do for you that as soon as, as soon as you become a tax care advocate with us, 
uh, uh, it automatically notifies our team and we're going to start working on some things. So we're going to build up custom tailored marketing pieces for you, help you with the logo. So we're going to, we're going to actually for your state and County build out a logo for you and have all your marketing done, buttoned up, ready to roll. Second thing that we'll do is we're going to build the website that we were talking about. So we're going to build out your full blown tax agency website and um, it's got rules, this and that programs, uh, fill out the form, contact you, all that. It's also got a video that plays, hey, we're glad you're here. So at our advocacy company, we do X, Y, and Z. And um, we've made it our mission to push back against the states uh, for homeowners that just simply need help, blah, blah, blah. And so it's a full-blown, high-end setup website for you. Uh, so here's Scott. Hey, follow the plan, laid out the program, done in a week. And got a deal, made 24, uh, a little over $24,000 and did it in less than 30 days. He was done with the lessons. Uh, we helped him grab the list. We pared down the list and that list was out the door in 13 days and he was closed. The third thing that we'll do is we have a deal submission joint venture partnering portal. So you're gonna run into homeowners that either need to close lightning fast or they need capital for certain things, we want to partner with you and close the deal. So you'll have a full blown uh, on top of your setup and all the things that we're putting together for you. You'll also receive a link. That link is your literally your special pipeline directly to our desk and our underwriters desk. Because again, I'll, I'll verbalize it. I said it earlier. We work with hedge funds. We have plenty of capital to close out transactions. Um, so what does that mean for you? That means when we set you up and people are calling about your tax company and you're giving them different uh, scenarios, you're going to run into some uh, that need your help, but you may not have the capital for it. We do not want you to let a deal fall apart because you think that you can't joint venture. You don't have the capital on it. So you'll have a once we do your setup, you'll have a special link that will be emailed to you that you can literally uh, fill out a few, uh, just a few different things about the property, the address, the condition, what's needed. And it'll be in underwriting in a matter of 48 hours. Here's Charles just following the step-by-step. -step. Hey, fourth check since February. And by the way, at that point, he was a little, I think right at the 60 day mark. And he's like, Hey, fourth check since February. Why? Cause he's taking incoming phone calls. And no one, not a single phone call that came in him said, yeah, uh, you're going to buy my house. You're going to make me a low offer. Not a single person said that. <laughs> Tell me about your program. How does it work? There's a code here. So what are we building out for you? Everything that I mentioned before, scripts, websites, do your marketing pieces, set up your tax advocacy company and logos. Uh, Taylor Marketing, Joint Venture Deal Submission Portal, because we never want you to have a deal fall apart because you don't have the capital. And so what I always ask everybody is like, just one of these, like Von Treese, her first deal, she made 28.9. What is one deal worth to you? And what if you could close them one a month? Or when it gets closer to tax sale time, you start closing one a week. We have all those metrics tracked. We know how, we know how many people call you and we have it's buttoned up so well. We have one lady call us 15 plus times in a row. I repeat, she called 15 plus times in a row while we were already taking another call. She wanted to talk to us so bad. So if you were to wholesale a property and make 16, eight, like Katie and Noah did, and you could duplicate the process for closing one property every month on demand, would it make sense? I showed you earlier. I said, Hey, this, uh, we've individually set up this and it costs that. At the bottom, it said 8760. If you could make 16 grand, would you pay eight grand for it? I bet you would. But you don't have to do what our beta testers did. Um, so our beta testers paid more, just so you know, because um, they were the first to the market with it. And, uh, and we'll help you build out the same national tax advocacy program. And you don't have to pay that amount. The fourth bonus is a private group, I repeat, private group, where everybody works with each other and we'll answer your questions ongoing. Anything that you need, all you gotta do is raise your hand in there and say, hey, I got a question on this, I got a question on that. Um, I have a homeowner, here's the situation. We all inside that private group help each other. 
So as soon as you're activated, you'll get a link, literally a link straight to the group to request access. Here's Henry and Chris. Hey, 30 grand, Jason. And then Chris, hey, have my first 50 grand month. And then finally, bonus number five, we're going to give you access to eight weeks of our insider coaching. So we'll give you eight weeks of insider coaching inside our vault. Uh, we're literally, we break down every part of the process, incoming calls, how we make them wait 48 hours, how we present three different solutions for them. So when we break all this down, now we're over 12 grand. But you don't have to pay that. You don't have to pay our first level of beta testers, our second level of beta testers at $39.95 or even the $19.95. All you have to do is go to tdbtoolbox.com and we'll set your full-blown agency up. We'll set up your website. We'll do your marketing pieces, set up your logos, get you access to the training, private group, all the things that I mentioned for $14.95. If you want to chop it up, into three payments, then you could do three payments of $6.95. And from this day forward, everyone in every county you enter will no longer look at you as an investor. They will literally look at you as a owner of a full-blown tax care agency. And hopefully, as you've gone through and taken notes and screenshots, you start to clearly see going after a big list of 10,000 is a beginner's game. You pair the list down to the ones that are free and clear, just like Scott Jordan, where he sent out 20, 16 calls, 15 of the 16 were free and clear. That's called doing it right. That's called it's worth your time. Uh, set this up right. You'll get submission after submission on your tax care website and inbound phone calls and no more spraying and praying. So, David, I like setting people up to win at this level. And again, this is not like don't live in the regular investor world anymore. This isn't just, just a off market lead source. It certainly is because we track 34 of them, but we're setting up a full blown tax care company for you. You know, what I love about this program, Jason is, is, you know, the, the wholesalers I talk to, they're on, they're on a hamster wheel, right? They're, they're, cold calling, right? They're on the phone, cold calling every day. Got to keep it up. Got to keep it up. They're driving for dollars. You know, they're, they're sending out the mail all the time and it's expensive, whatever they're doing. Yeah. And they never let off the gas, right? Because they're always like, you know, okay, at what point can I quit my job? At what point can I go all in on this? And yeah. the, there, there's no, because they don't have a system and they're just kind of like you say, you know, spray and pray. Right. They yeah. don't know when they can get off the hamster wheel. But with this, you can set up a system, right, where every every month you're getting the list, you're sending out a few hundred pieces of mail. Right. They're going to the website and it's you can automate it. So you can get out of that job so you can become a full time investor so you can know after, you know, a month or after a couple months or whatever, that this is real and you're going to get a steady flow of leads coming in. So you don't have to guess it. Like, you know, I, yeah. I talk to people, they get a wholesale deal and they're like, then it's months before they get another one. And they're well, like, yeah, oh. and here, and here, I, I agree with you. And there's a difference between trying to be an investor and um, rolling up your sleeves and, I'm just going to keep at it and be consistent and keep my head down. There's a difference between that and literally having something set up to retake incoming calls and literally on a day in day out basis, you're a problem solver. Right. Um, it's fun when you get paid a lot of money to be a problem solver because they're coming to you and saying, here are my problems, solve it. Here are my problems, solve it. Hey, I'm calling about your tax assistance code TAC4. It says here to mention that um, there's three separate help. But hey, uh, here's my situation. Solve the problem. It, yeah. Not a fair fight. And, uh, and you mentioned in your presentation too about like sometimes, you know, wholesalers, because they're marketing that way, they feel sleazy. And this is a way to market where you don't feel that way, right? You're, I'm right. helping you. I'm not trying to give you pennies on the dollar for your property. I'm coming out and trying to help you solve your problem. Correct. And it's called, by the way, once we set you up and if and when your county starts sending you leads, Think of, think of how many investors you may compete against in any particular city. 
What if all of a sudden your county starts sending you leads? Like, you, you understand that like at that point, you're literally sitting back and just taking phone calls, sure. listening, prescribing different options, choose an option. Um, so another thing that we're doing to make this easy, remember I also have a, uh, uh, I'm gonna go over with you in a minute, a uh, another case study where I'm gonna break down exactly how this deal got to the finish line using what we're talking about. Um, but to make things easy for you, uh, here is a money back 30 day challenge for you. If you go through everything and show me that it doesn't work. So basically sign up today, complete the course. Uh, again, you can be done in one day. Just send out a hundred letters following exactly everything. We'll put it together for you. We'll set up your logo. We'll get everything done and ready to roll. And if you don't make your money and back that you've invested, then I'll refund you and pay you a hundred bucks for wasting your time. So all you need to do is go to TDB Toolbox and literally you have no risk. Here's why. We want to set you up to win. We want to set you up to help people. We want to set you up to take incoming calls, listen and help and, and uh, make money doing it. And we already told you one of the bonuses is that we have a direct deal submission portal. I want to close deals with you. It's in my best interest to watch you destroy the marketplace help a bunch of people succeed. And then stuff that's outside of your closing capability, this is where the ultimate win-win comes in. We'll close deals with you folks. We started, and David mentioned it, I do this for big companies. I work with hedge funds. They have an appetite for closing out deals that most people think that can't be closed. And we, we just so happen to create a portal for you to direct submit those ones that fall outside of your closing capabilities. And I always tell people, this is like a franchise. What do you what do you pay for a McDonald's franchise? Million, million two. Why? Because it's predictable. It's like printing money. So as you, and again, you're here devoting your time as a CEO of your business. You're the CEO. You look in the mirror every morning. What are you doing to create a spinning wheel with predictability? Where are you investing your time, energy, and money? I hope it's not in throwing money throwing money to the wind on worn out marketing stuff. Quite frankly, when I go into cities um, hired by these larger companies, when most investors do the same thing over and over and over, I, I walk into that city, I'm like, okay, this is going to be easy. Because we do it different. Yeah. I spent, like I mentioned with the, with the mail that I sent out, I sent out twice as much, twice as much as this program and got zero results. Because it was yeah. untested, it was a bad strategy, right? It's it's this is this is if you're spending time doing those activities, if you're on the calls every day, if you're sending out mail, you're doing all those things, you're blowing through money, right? Yeah, and this yeah. is a way to avoid all that, right? Get something that somebody's tested nationwide and it's proven, and you know you're going to get results. Yeah, by the way, you guys you guys could absolutely do this without going through the lessons and training. You could do it on your own. Um, but I can tell you, because I track it, uh, get to work on it. Uh, it'll probably take you six, seven years and about 700 grand in marketing budgets across 100, 100 city sample size. And I and I am 100% confident that you will, you will get your rhythm. Um, or just do it right now and stop throwing away money on – marketing campaigns that are worn out and don't work. We have one gentleman that we set up. He did a campaign where we pared it down, just like I showed you as an example, folks. And he's like, you know, I spent 75% less on this campaign and got 10 times the lead flow than I did on those other campaigns where I spent a few thousand dollars. That's all we're trying to eliminate for you here is to set up a full-blown true company that's an advocacy company that can run forever. And that everybody in town knows to come to. So here's one of our clients. Hey, just got to, on my first campaign. Interesting. Sellers are much friendlier than other marketing methods. Refreshing. Friendly's good. Yeah, exactly. Here's Dave. Hey, found two deals in five days. 19 grand profit. Six hundred contract last month, and three so far this month. Greg Pratt. 
Six under contract, three so far this month. Hmm. And people out there struggling to get one. And by the way, Greg, uh, Greg was an IT guy for 30 years. We set him up and one year removed, uh, called me and he goes, Hey, uh, you don't know this, but I produced over 600 grand in revenue. Thank you very much. I quit my 30 year job. You gave my time back with me and my wife and my son. Why I do it folks. Alyssa. Hey, game changer works like a charm. Sellers that are actually motivated. So again, here's all the things you're going to get. $14.95 or $6.95, just go to TDB Toolbox. You can instantly, as soon as you sign up, you're going to get email and literally it unlocks the training. You could be off and running tonight. You could be done by tomorrow. And we're well on our way to getting your logos done, working on your marketing pieces, setting up your website so that we can press go lightning freaking fast. This is um, <clears throat> Jason's team is phenomenal. I want to throw that out there <clears throat> from the web, you know, getting you set up the website, the processes, everything. They've got it all figured out. And and once you get in here and once you sign up for the text delinquent blueprint, it's all you have to do is go through the course, right? You just have to to learn what you're what you're going to do, the seller dance, the you know all the stuff that they teach in the very thorough, very well put together course. But they're going to help you with the website. They're going to help you with everything else, and even with if I'm not mistaken, the the mail pieces, correct? Yeah, absolutely. We've already got the mail pieces set up. We've already got them laid out and designed. So it's not like it's not like they say, hey you need to do a mail piece and it should say something like this, you know, work on it. They've already yeah. got them made up. They've already yeah. got a mail house, right? It's all, it's all done. Yeah. It's all done. It's all ready to go. The only thing we don't have is your logo done yet and your name at the bottom of it, period. So here's one of the case studies that I'm most proud of because of the very first note in red at the top. Um, we made almost 72 grand on it, but she had over 70 investors marketing to her. She came to us from our tax assistance marketing. It was an inbound lead from uh, uh, from the county. She had two properties delinquent. Both were free and clear of the mortgage side of things. Both vacant, code violations. Um, she needed funds for medical bills, repairs to the car, help her, help her daughter and her grandson. And so we presented the options to her. The numbers made sense. And we solved our problems and made just under 72 grand. But she had 70 people. 70 investors. 70 investors. Hey, didn't know if you'd be interested in getting an offer from me. Hey, before you lose your house to tax, so let me put some cash in your pocket. Hey, we have a tax assistance program. Call us about TAC424. Yeah, so we have three separate ways we can help you. And we don't think the process of tax sale is fair. We exist to help you. Oh, yeah, here's my problem. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, give us 48 hours. We have three separate ways we can help you. We'll lay those out. Let's choose the one that works best for you. Game over. She's happy. Got a testimonial and made just under $72,000. So, again, full-blown system can be done in one day. All the scripts, all the things you hear rolling off my tongue, we have scripts done, ready to go. All the documents. How to unload them to cash buyers if you want to. Uh, your marketing stuff is going to be done. Marketing pieces. We'll build out your website. We have a full-blown deal submission portal where we'll close deals with you. Private Facebook group where everybody helps each other and answer everybody's questions. And then also coaching calls on how we set it up, how we take the incoming calls, how we present the offers, everything for you to become a tax care agency and no longer be an investor that rubs a rabbit foot. So, Get started, fourteen ninety five. You didn't have to pay what our beta testers did, eighty seven hundred, thirty nine hundred, and just simply secure your spot and be off and running tonight. And just go to tdbtoolbox.com. And after today, the bonus package goes away. After today, there's no discount. After today. Um, you could go online and pay $39.95 without the bonuses included, without the logos, without the, the website build out. So simply get signed up so that we can rock and roll and show you how this is done and then celebrate in our private group, celebrate your victories. Um, 
Of, so David, I promise I won't answer questions. So you tell you tell me what questions. Yeah, do, you see, do you see them there? Or I'm going to pop them up here. CC is asking, uh, how much do you need to budget for the website and the marketing? Um, so we build the website for you. So nothing for that. Um, and and then for your marketing, we pair the list down. So what I always tell everybody is this. Um, if we pair the list down to a small sample size of 200 or 300, which is what we do, because we do not want you to market to everyone. It's a waste of time, right? Um, so I, would, I always tell everybody, mentally set aside 300 bucks or 400 bucks. That's enough to get you up and running and get the ball rolling. And again, the only time you ever have to worry about a marketing budget whatsoever is before we hit go on the first campaigns and we haven't uh, taken phone calls yet to help create win-wins with the with the homeowners. Because once you've closed out a transaction or two, which you will, then after that, it's just everything's academic at that point. It doesn't matter. Um, but I always tell everybody, set aside mentally 300 bucks or 400 bucks to get your first campaign going. And, um, and then, by the way, that's if you want to mail out to them. We teach you inside, I think it's lesson three or lesson four inside your 11 lessons that you'll get that we already have scripts for you to pare down the list and we can just text them. Hey, give us a call about tax assistance code, blah, 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 blah. We exist because we don't think this process is fair. And then we'll put your website in that text message. And then you don't even need to mail and you'll, get to, you'll take phone calls off of that. And uh, so we have all the different ways that we engage property owners. But again, I want you to understand that when you're a tax care company, they want to speak to you. This isn't like them hiding... Uh, hiding, you know, under the rafters because they're like, oh God, I think it's another investor coming after me again. I've already got 40 of those damn postcards. Like, get away from me. That's that's not the world that we live in. Um, so 300 bucks, 400 bucks, get your first campaign going. And then as you saw in some of the testimonials, hey, got this one done in 26 days. Uh, Von Trees got hers done in three or four weeks. Uh, I'm just going off memory here. Uh, Charles from February. Hey, fourth closing since February. He was 60 days removed. Uh, so when they want to speak to you, you solve their problem. All you are is a problem solver once we set you up. You're not an investor that does cold calling 24 hours a day. Exact opposite. Hopefully that's refreshing to everybody here. Absolutely. Yeah, that's... Uh... I mean, and you think about it after you do your first deal, you make 20, 30 grand and you can put aside all the marketing you would need for the entire year. Right. And then every other deal after that, it's gravy. Yeah. And we actually go over that stuff too. Since we do this um, at a pretty large level in certain cities with big clients um, that have big, you know, uh, big acquisition goals to hit. Uh, what we do, just so you know, just so everybody understands, once we set you up, and it's inside the training, it's also inside the private group, uh, we teach you, we show you, it's like, hey, um, homeowners call, solve their problems three different ways. And then when you have a closing, we put aside 10% of that so that we can supersize, uh, so we can supersize your marketing on the front end. Now the deal closes, set aside 10% so that we can supersize on the front end. And when you start doing that over and over and over, then th that's... That's literally, that's where you start to live in the world that Charles is living in, where he's like, hey, fourth closing since, uh, fourth yeah. closing since February. It's because he set aside 10% and he kept his foot on the gas. And it's easy to do once you've struck um, struck an agreement to help out a pr property owner. And by the way, the testimonials that you get from these people that call in because of the way you, they called you and then the way you approached it as a tax care company, uh, the testimonials you get are insane. The referrals you get, um, you'll probably drop to your knees because most of you don't get referrals. You str you struggle to close a deal, a lot of you, from doing the old methods, but you don't get referrals. When you're a tax care company in town and everybody knows that you are, you get referrals. I don't know if this is in the, the uh, program or not, and I don't want to ruin anything, but I'm just, you know, thinking out loud. If I've got my website up and going, I'm doing deals, I'm making people happy. I put a Google business ad on Google and people Googling tax advocate, property tax advocate, they're finding me and you're getting more deals. Yeah, correct. Without a doubt. Yeah. Once your yeah. website's up, you can, you can actually run a Google ad. So anytime somebody, 
somebody on the internet uses their fingers, okay, and they type in need property tax help, boom, there's your tax care agency. I need property tax help, boom, there's your tax care agency. And then they reach out to you. All right, I got to know, I got some other questions here for us, Jason. I think this yeah. is Dan. Says, how many others have purchased this program in my area? I think he's talking about Pinellas County or Tampa Bay. Um, I don't, I think there's one person, maybe two. Um, so yeah, so let's address that. That's a common question. Hey, Jason, if you have tax advocates, like uh, as an example, somebody said, well, in Dallas, I think I have six tax care advocates. Um, remember, we're all in a private group. Okay. So you'll be in a private group as soon as you um, activate and go to TDB Toolbox and sign up. Um, you'll be off and running in the training. You'll also be in the private group. I have yet in doing this publicly for, because I did this privately for big companies, right? We developed all this that, that you're seeing here, um, not for public consumption, okay? And um, so for the last three and a half, four years, um, we've made it available to you as an end investor to become a tax care agency for your area. But in some areas, we have two, three, four, five people. We have not had not even one time a single person has said that they've ran into another tax advocate. Here's why. Because when we teach you to pare it down, you're going to get granular with it. And what I mean by that is this. Uh, you may like seven different zip codes more than I do. For you to think that you're, that you're hitting pressing go at the same time in the same county, in the same city, in the same zip code as another advocate is almost laughable to me. There's so many to go around. There's on average 20,000 behind in the state. And we teach you to pare it down. We teach you to be selfish with what zip code you want. So um, we have yet to run into uh, anybody inside our private group that says, oh, I ran into another tax advocate. It's just simply just from a number standpoint that we track. It's it, it's it's not really plausible. Even if even if I were doing it and I, and I happened to mail to the same owner as somebody else did. I like my odds with two of us versus 70. Right? Yeah, correct. Well, yeah, that's why it's not plausible. So very valid question. We get that often. Um, but I would tell you that for most, uh, uh, I think, so we have, I think we have 2000, a little over 2000 tax advocates, but there's 3,600 counties. So think about that. There's 3,600 counties. In, in America plus. And um, so there, there isn't market saturation again. Uh, and I'll go back to this. Hold on. Do you see in red? She had over 70 investors marketing to her. And let's equate that to something. She had 70 investors in town, all going after the same lead, doing the same thing. Meaning most investors, if, hey, before you lose your house of tax sale, I'd like to talk to you about putting some cash in your pocket. And that's what everybody does. So even if there's one or two or three tax advocates in your area and by chance in the same zip code at the exact same time, within five days of each other, you send out something, your odds are astronomically weighted in your favor versus let me put some cash in your pocket. How do I know? I track it all. Hopefully that helps. Answer Guys, I got to tell you, I'm the I'm one of the most unorganized guys in the world. And Jason, from sitting through his his blueprint classes down here, I got to tell you that him and his team, they're the most organized people in the world. So if you get in on this and get into his program, everything's going to be laid out for you. If I did a program like this, I'd have it written down in a little notebook and I'd say, here, you can copy it. <laughs> Jason's got, he's got it all laid out. So Yeah. So uh, a good point. A good point. So uh, just so everybody knows. So when you get signed up and activate here, you're immediately going to get the video training, but you're also going to get access to uh, a, an operations map. So when David says, Hey, we're organized, there's not a single item and you running things from start to finish that isn't buttoned up in its own little operation map bubble that you can click open. So as an example, one is taking the incoming calls. You click it open. They're going to say this. You say that. They're going to say this. You tell them, give us 48 hours, and we have three separate ways to help you. You click on that button. It says three separate ways. We here's, here's option one, and, it's, and it literally lays it out for you. So on top of just video training and listening to how we present it, uh, you also have 
step-by-step -step operation, an operation map that once you sign up, literally we're going to email to you and it lives on your computer. So you could literally take an incoming phone call, sit in front of the map and just go, okay, so option one, and you can just literally read it right off the page. So David, I do appreciate when you say, hey, it's, it's highly organized. Uh, David came to yeah. me. To me, it's mind-blowingly organized because I'm not right here yeah. to me. I scribble things on pieces of paper. <laughs> yeah, we've, my organization. We've got you covered. And, and, and just so you know, folks, like getting uh, becoming part of our tax advocacy uh, team and family, we've been asked to franchise this a few times. We haven't because they want us to sign five-year contracts. But think about that. We've been approached to franchise what we do. Why? Because we're murdering the casual investor. Murdering them. All right. You ready for another one here, buddy? Yeah. Hit me. What, what do you got? Eaton. How much is your cut if you JV? What is, oh, if you JV? Um, so if you, if you JV you, with them. Yeah, correct. So if you JV with us, you do the submission portal, we're open-ended. Um, depends on how much work we have to do. Um, if it's just you submit in there and say, hey, I don't know what to do. Here's a special situation and we help you solve it. You may keep 80% and we'll take 20. Um, if it's where I've got to go in and negotiate with the homeowner, this, that, and the other thing, and it's a big hairy mess, then it might be 50-50, but, but uh, it, at most 50-50. Um, uh, there's some where we've answered a question and said, go close the deal. And we didn't take a single penny. That portal is just for us to take a look at it and underwrite it and see what the moving parts are. So we can literally craft a solution and, uh, we'll just find a way to partner on it. So we're very open-ended as far as that goes. Yeah. That's, I like that about you guys too, it's because you're, you're doing deals. You're doing a lot of deals. You're in the trenches. You're not just selling something and saying, Hey, good luck with it. You know, you're you guys are, are working on that all the time. So yeah, here and, uh, I'll, and for fun, I'll go back here as you ask me more questions. Let me find Grayson. Where's Grayson at? Where is Grayson? Grayson, 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 Grayson. There he is. So Grayson hit me up and uh, he goes, Hey, I have this one that I want to JV with you, partner on. Um, it's outside of my scope. He just had a simple question. I literally answered it in 90 seconds and I told him, go close your own deal. Literally just told him, go close the deal. And he's like, Hey, well, I owe you dinner. I'm like, okay, I like hot wings. So that was the extent of our JV. So in that case, it was hot wings, hot <laughs> wings yeah. and a hundred percent. Yep. Yeah. So it was, a, he's like, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. I'm like, call your title company tell him this and say, Hey, what paperwork do I need to solve this? And so he called and he goes, Hey, I got two pieces of paper they need to sign. I go, okay, well, then you should be able to close that. And he goes, okay, so what, what's the JV split? I'm like, just go close your deal. And I go, and anybody else you run into, tell them, tell them that uh, I set you up as a tax advocate. How about that? And he goes, fair enough. And I'm so literally laid back, casual, open-ended. Um, if, if it's just answering a question, folks, close your deal. Okay. But, it, but at least feel comfortable knowing that you have that level of help on the back end. Um, I'm talking to you about this technique. David David will tell you in, a, in another training if you want, but like I'm 36,000 off-market properties deep. I repeat, I'm 36,000 off-market properties deep. There's not a situation that you're going to run into with the homeowner that I at least haven't run into 100 plus times. Um, what Having access to that level of knowledge, what's that work to you? Wait, you're saying they can communicate with you? Yeah, imagine that. We're all in the same group and and you'll see myself and everybody on the team answering your questions. Oh, man, and oh, and um, just so happens that maybe some of you will end up with my cell phone number because I don't like I just don't live in a world where you, you can't reach out and talk to me because you have a question on something. It's just that's just the way I operate. David knows it. And anybody who knows me knows that. So. All right, we've got another one from uh, Keaton here. He had a two-part question. Also, do we have access to your network of cash buyers? 
Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Yep, that's what, yeah. Um, like you could tell me different cities and, and I already know who's going to close it with you. Yeah, it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean 100 percent of the time that my myself and my internal organization is going to JV with you. Like if uh, as an example, if you have a deal in Dallas, I could close it with you, but I already know who I'm going to put you in touch with to close the deal because they're already a few thousand units deep. When I got my hands on them originally, they had done 14 deals. I set up their systems and now they have thousands of units. So I will literally hand you directly off to them and be like, hey, uh, here's the situation and then tell them and then hand you off to them so you guys can close the deal together. Um, so yeah, you have, uh, once you're on the team, you have access to pretty much everything that I've amassed in my 26 years of doing what I do. All right. This is Randy, I believe. And he's asking about, are you offering the typical 65 to 70% ARV? Um, no, so how's, how's that no. offer varying? So, so, no. so that's a good question. So how, how, when you go in, how are you making, how are you coming up with your number? Are you using the same kind of wholesaling tactic or, no. or what do you do there? No, 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 no. Or you, you'll, you'll see, but like we, here, we don't do the, I need to make an offer that's 70% of the after repair value minus the repairs minus my 10,000 wholesale fee. And here's my offer up, 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 like a robot. No, we teach you um, some markets you can pay more, some, some markets you can hold tight and pay less. And um, that's a, that's an open-ended question, but we just, we don't put things in one box and make an offer and tell the homeowner, take it or leave it. No, we don't, we don't do that. And quite frankly, uh, there, there's a part of the question that I don't want to answer because you'll see it on the inside, but we have things to, <clears throat> what if I told you you could solve problems for homeowners without even getting the deal? I repeat, what if you could solve a problem for a homeowner, but not get the deal? Most of us would be sad about that, right? And be like, okay, we'll get the next one, which you will. But what if I told you that privately on the back end, we also have ways to where if you don't get to deal with the homeowner, there are certain things that we do as a full blown national tax care agency that you could actually still make 1500 bucks on a homeowner that told you no. I bet that would get your brain working, wouldn't it? I, you know what? I was wondering if you were going to tease that. So, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail because um, it's, it. David knows what I'm talking about. He, I know David, exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, you, you, and I'll tell you this. I would, I'm not going to say anything about it other than if you get the program and you get in and see what he's talking about, your head's going to explode. Yeah. What? A, yeah. So so think about this. Again, I'm not going to give a lot of details, but you guys are asking questions. But let, just, just hear me out. Okay? Just listen. Um, what if I told you that – because I track everything, that there's 20 something to 30% of the leads that that fall into a certain category to where even though they told you everything and you want to work with them and, and you're the most refreshing person they've talked to and you still have a wonderful relationship, but, but you're not going to close the deal um, because of the nature of some of the problems they have. And, and we teach you that. There's a percentage of those. But what if there was still a way to make money while helping them? that has nothing to do with you buying their house. Um, these are things that means, and here's what it means, just so you know. That means you walk around with a weapon that other investors will never have. No investor you've ever shaken hands with and or will ever shake hands with and or network with at RIA club meetings or in Facebook groups will have something to offer that you can offer. And I will just leave it at that. Like we do not play in regular investor sandboxes. So again, as you're listening and when I'm answering questions, when you go to sleep tonight, when you wake up tomorrow, go back to doing the regular old stuff or have something put in place that can run forever that is so far removed from a regular investor and that the whole marketplace resonates with and wants to work with and just see what happens. And, and and I'll and I'll go back to what I said earlier. And if you got any more questions, I'm happy to answer them. What did I say earlier, folks? I did this and developed this for the private sector, meaning the big companies that need to, to do 2,000 homes in 48 months, huge rental portfolios, and sell them to big publicly traded companies. And so it's my job 
to get to all those assets first before all of you folks. And so I did this in the private sector forever. And we just started doing this and showing people how to become a full-blown tax agency for the public sector about three years ago or four years ago. And doing a training like this, I probably do three times a year, not that often, four times a year, maybe. So think about that. You're not a regular investor anymore. It, the, the stuff that David said he knows, and I kind of alluded to a little bit, which I'm not going to elaborate on <clears throat> because it's brand new, by the way. <clears throat> um, it's brand it's brand new to our advocate clients. I've been doing it for a while. But you literally will have things that no one else can offer a homeowner. I'll just leave it at that. What do you and think? I'll say this. I'll say good. this. Yeah, and I, again, I won't expand on it. But when Jason was over here at the house and we were talking one afternoon and he he told me this, and I don't think he told many people about it, about another alternative for homeowners. And when he told me, I thought about it, nothing else for about three days because <laughs> it blew my mind so much. Uh, I seriously, I sat here and I just, I just kept letting my, it marinate in my brain. I'm like, that's insane. Like to be able to offer homeowners that option. So anyway, that's, that's all we can say. That's all we can say. Yeah. It's, um, and again, we'll, we'll, you'll see that we'll teach you that, but, um, you have stuff to offer the marketplace that no one else can offer. I promise you that promise you that beyond a shadow of a doubt. So, and, um, and again, we track metrics. And again, for most of you, um, as an investor, you're trying to close more deals. That's why you're here. I applaud you for that. Um, most investors will either donate 200 hours in a calendar year. If you're just getting started and you're not doing this full time, you'll donate 200 hours wiggling through things and trying to figure it out, which is a lot of time and energy and opportunity cost and money. And then a lot of you will do this or buy this widget or do this list and follow the herd or I'm going to do subject two. Like everybody said, subject two is going to be a title way. And you do all these things and you spend three or and at the end of a calendar year, you look up and you're like, wow, I spent five grand and uh, I don't have a closing or I squeaked out one closing and made eight grand for the 250 hours I invested. This return on investment was horrible. I can show you how to not live in that world. Yeah. I can show you not a hot, not have to do that ever again. Period. 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 Hey, uh, everybody, I just want to say this real quick. If we get cut off here, I think I might have a two hour limit on the webinar. So if we get cut off, I'm sorry, go to TB, tdbtoolbox.com and, and grab that offer. Go ahead and write it down in case we get a cut off here. But let's jump through a couple other questions here real quick. Uh, Nancy wanted to know if the leads have phone numbers, have contact information, so you can text them instead of mailing them. Um, yeah, so we show you how to grab the list, pair it on the list. And um, we don't we don't grab the phone numbers for you. Uh, but you'll see you'll see inside that um, some of you will have uh, difficulty. So pay attention. Good question, by the way. Very good question. Some of you will have difficulty getting your tax list. Some of you right now, as you're listening, like, yeah, Jason, I'm a, I heard my county is tough to get the tax list. Well, we have full blown uh, tax list assassins on the inside, meaning some of you will be difficult to get your tax list. The moment that happens, you're going to raise your hand and I'm going to put you in direct contact with one of our assassins and they can unlock the list for you. They'll charge you for it. Um, every county is different. I don't know what they'll charge you, but listen to me. The reason I'm saying that, like, uh, and when we want you to sign up, like, why would I create hurdles for you? And like, like for some of you, like, oh, no, I hope I can get my list. Just hear me. If you have even 1% difficulty getting your list, one, I got you covered on the back end. That's number one. Number two, anytime it takes you more than just casual phone call and effort to get a list, those leads are a thousand times more valuable. I repeat, it's true. if it takes you any extra effort whatsoever, one, we got you covered. 
Two, those leads are a thousand times more val uh, more valuable because that means just regular old investors. You're not you're a tax advocacy company. Did you just forget that? But most investors are like, oh well, I'll just go back to buying a vacant list and a high equity list from PropStream or something stupid, and they just give up. We have ways to unlock counties. There's only three that we've run across so far that we had supreme difficulty getting to, or there's two or three that we haven't been able to unlock out of 3,000 and something, and out of all the ones that we've gone after. So let that sink in. I sincerely hope it takes extra effort to get that lead list, because if it is, then I already know it's going to be a blistering home run on the back end, because you literally are going to be the only one that's in front of them the right way. Like that's, it's a bona fide home run. Just so you know. Absolutely. It is. It's true. Okay. Jeff, Jeff Norris asked me uh, if there's going to be a replay. Uh, Jeff, I will send you a replay since you got on the call late. And then he also asked uh, if you can work in multiple areas and states. Yeah. Yeah. We want you to. Um, so very good question. Uh, I think it's Jeff, right? So very good question. Um, if you have a license to have everybody come to you and want to talk to you, which is highly abnormal for an investor, then why on God's green earth would, once we set you up to do this, like a full-blown agency and pro, why would you not expand to three, four, five, six places? You should, because you won't have any competition. You absolutely should. So if, if some of you are taking notes, I'd write that down. Just say, hey, do my county first, then expand to two or three more. I repeat, do my county that I want to go after first, and then expand to two, three, or four more. You absolutely should. Uh, like Grayson, who I just showed on there earlier, and then I just kind of popped him back up. Uh, he did it in one market, and he's expanded to six others. I think he has plans to go into another three, uh, three counties in different marketplaces, and some of them are in different states. I like that. Yeah. Uh, Nancy uh, asks if she can pay with PayPal, and Nancy, I don't I don't think so. I think it has to be a unless you have a PayPal debit card. I think if it's a Visa or Mastercard, but I don't think there's a PayPal on the. Uh, on the sales page for the program. Yeah, David, if you, have Nancy, if you have Nancy's info, then you can get her over to me. I'll get her to my team and we can try and get her set up. Um, okay. If you want to yeah. do that, Nancy, we can uh, you just connect you direct with the office and see if we can do that. Okay. Uh, Paul asked the same question. Can I work this business virtually in multiple counties? Absolutely. You sure can. Yeah. Yeah, just uh, and, and remember, uh, remember the very, I think the very first person I showed you, she's in California now, but she's originally from Australia and she closed a deal in a whole nother state, virtually never even saw the house. So absolutely. When you press go in any market, think about this. You're hearing me through the internet. You didn't have to drive here to St. Pete to hear me, right? Well, when you press go in any county you want virtually and the homeowners start calling you, your phone's going to ring and you're going to answer. You're going to answer the phone, whether the person's in the same zip code, the same county, three counties over or two states over. It doesn't matter. And you can do it all on the phone. Yeah. Who's ever called phone support before for the inner for your Internet going out? I bet you didn't talk to somebody in the same zip code, did you? <laughs> no. You're in Bangladesh saying spell no. your name just in case we get disconnected. Right. So, so Charles asked, should he target the whole state starting out? So I think you're saying start with a county and then spread. Um, yeah. So that's inside the training. So what we do is we teach you how to pare the list down. So in the course of you learning and understanding, and by the way, I like that has to be paramount on the forefront of your brain. As I'm saying this to you, listen to me when I say this. Did I not say two times, we're going to teach you how to pare down a list. So if in conjunction with you going through the lessons, you're like, ah, I get it now. It makes sense. Now I see why you do that. And you pare down a list and that list that you pare down 
get you to a really small number. One, that's awesome because we're going after the right leads. By the way, when you do it the way that we teach you to do it inside, uh, you're go you're going to be in front of free and clear property owners with 93% accuracy. That is nasty. That means we don't waste time going after the people we shouldn't. Okay. But in the conjunction, in the, in the construction of you learning how to do that, if you pare down the list uh, very far and you have a very small sample size, then I would immediately go to extra counties because you want, you want to at least get, end up with a larger sample size so that we get a lot of phone calls right. coming in. And I'm um, so just by the nature of how we teach you, it'll be crystal clear to you. Like, you know what? I'm going to expand into the county. You don't even need to bounce it off of me. You'll know as a CEO, you're like, you know what? I clearly see I'm going after the right ones, but I've narrowed it down to 150. I at least want to go after four or 500. So you'll just go to the next county, perform the same task, narrow that one down and go after the right ones in that county. And um, so that'll be natural for you in your own brain. Uh, and feel free in the private group to ask and we'll help you with that. But I think it'll be crystal clear for you um, once you're done. And I think it's through lesson three. Uh, uh, after lesson three that, uh, if you pare the list down far enough, you, you'll you'll make your own executive decision. You know what? I'm going to expand right now. Um, I'm fine with you, everybody going after two or three counties. Remember, no matter what county you do it in, there's another county waiting for you. That the moment you the moment you press go, those 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 investors in that in that county and zip, in those zip codes have no chance. They have no freaking chance. You're going to get, I, I, I could go back. I don't want to hunt for it. Do you remember where it said in there uh, in one of the quotes from one of our tax care advocates that we set up? They said that the homeowner said, it's refreshing to talk to you. This is refreshing. By the nature of the way you answer the calls and how we've set it up for you. And I think that one is in lesson five. We teach you how to take these incoming calls. You'll hear people through the phone which most of you are not used to go, you know what? This is absolutely refreshing. They'll tell you, you know how many times I've been hit with, Hey, you're in a pickle. Let me buy your house. Cause we're going to like, I'm not going to pull back the curtain on everything, but um, we have full blown tax assistance codes, programs, help buckets, tax vouchers, tax loans, standing cash offers, things that no one else in the marketplace will ever, ever offer to a homeowner. So what do you think is going to happen on the back end when you when you offer things that no one else has ever blessed their ears with? This is it, like, of course, you're going to go after multiple. The, the, the situation is they, they they're in a position where they have to do something and you're really offering them. And I know what you're offering on the back end. You're offering them so many different solutions that it's like it's not like here's my offer, take it or leave it. It is, it is, you know, here's three ways we can options. Which one do you want to choose? Right. Correct. Yeah. So folks, right. it is not, you're right. It's not cash offer, take it or leave it. You're running out of time, Mr. Smith. It is not that it's here's this option. Here's how it works. Here's this option. This might work for you. I'm not sure. Here's how it works. Here's this option. Uh, I don't know which one you think works best for you, but we are not going to let you go to tax sale. So Let's pick one that works best for you and we'll craft a solution around which one you think works best for you. And so it, just for the nature of the way you run your business, it is literally phone call. Here's the options. Pick one phone call. Here's the options. Pick one. Cause, cause the fourth option is go to tax sale and end up with nothing. And we will not allow you to let that happen. Um, we don't want that to happen. You or your family. So let's walk through these ask many questions. And again, we have all this buttoned up for you. And then they just choose an option, folks. Game's over. Test years, the ago, years, ago, I, years ago, I worked for Quicken Loans and they taught us in our training, you know, when we, we would lay out two or three loan programs and we would say, obviously, all of these loans make a lot of sense, right? Because then they're in a position where it's like, okay, they do, right? They're, you're shaking your head and they're like, yeah, they make a lot of sense. So then it's virtually, or, you know, they're just, you're just saying, just pick one, which one do would you like? And they say, oh, I'll take, you know, number three, right? And you're doing the same thing. You're saying, here's all these options. Just grab one, grab the one you like. Correct. Here's, right. and, I, and I, and I did this one time and I said this off the cuff just for fun. Um, Cause we do many trainings inside our private group as well. Like, Hey folks, 
uh, we're tweaking this and just want to walk you through it. And so just having fun. And there was, there was one time where I, I gave the analogy. I'm like, look, what, what you will become once we get you set up and you're going through the lessons and our team's working on your logos and all this stuff, you'll quickly realize, imagine a homeowner's walking into a restaurant that's known for cheeseburgers and hamburgers. Okay. And imagine when they walk in, they're met with regular investors that, that are your competition. They're like, Hey, uh, I know you came in for a burger. Would you like a quesadilla? They're like, uh, no. And you walk in as a tax advocate and say, Hey, I have three separate, I have three separate burgers you can choose from. Let's, let's find out which one works best for you. And then just pick one. Everybody else is offering quesadillas when they walked in for a hamburger or a cheeseburger. And you say, here, here's three different options of cheeseburgers and hamburgers. Let's find the one that works best for you and, and let's get it done. Like it's, <laughs> this is. The no brainer. Yeah. Hey, we got one, one more question here from uh, Keaton. Uh, he's talking about getting the county list. If you didn't have to skip trace it to send the letters. Right. And I would say on that, I don't think you have to, do you? No. It's already got the it's already got the uh, text billing address when you get the the records, so you don't have unless you're going to send out text messages to them, you don't have to skip trace anything. Yeah, because they're going to be calling you. That's a that's an extra added layer of contact, and um, so um, you'll see you'll see inside the training that's not necessary, but um, we'll teach you uh, lesson two teaches you. Hey, here's what you need to find out for your state tax lien versus tax deed, what the rules are, when when it goes to tax sale, all these things, because then we build your level, your level of uh, engaging the property owner based upon what your rules are. So we teach you how we do that, meaning this. I'll just send out letters if they're still a year away from tax sale. OK. Uh, or 10 months or nine months. But if it's 90 days or less until helter skelter, until all hell breaks loose, then I'm going to send out a letter. I'm going to send out another one in a in a shorter time frame. But I'm also going to send them a text message. Hey, did you get? Hey, just making sure you get our letter, um, our our tax advocacy and our tax help program letter. Uh, call us about tax assistance code TAC four two four blah blah blah. Hey, call us, call us, call us, text us, call us, call us, because now they're out of time. So. Um, when it gets closer to tax sale time, then I will skip trace. Then I will get their phone number. Then I will. Hey, just making sure you got our letter. I know you're running. Out, I, you're running out of time. I want to make sure you got our letter. We can help you three separate ways. I want to make sure you got our letter. Hey, just reaching out. I'm Jason with blah 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 Tax Care. Did you get our letter? Did you get our letter? Call us about our tax help. We can help you with your tax bill. Hey, 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 hey. When they're out of time, I'll hit them harder and faster. And because they're going to strike it. They're going to strike it. When I present options, they're striking a deal with me. Yeah. Because they're out of time. That's the way to do it. Hey, speaking of being out of time, I think we got about 60 seconds left here on the stream. So any closing words? Uh, yeah. I can't wait to see several of you on the inside. I yeah. can't, I can't wait for you to immediately be in the lessons. I can't wait for our team to have you, because as soon as you sign up, it goes straight to our team and our teams will also get you a form to fill out and uh, asking you about what areas you think in this, that, so we can develop a plan, develop building your logo for you and setting up your website. So I can't wait for you to be rocking and rolling on the inside. I can't wait to see you in the group. Uh, one of the things welcoming into the group, uh, you'll say, hey, here's, I'm, I'm here, I'm doing this, this, this is where I'm from. So everybody introduces themselves. So I can't wait to enter you to the family and show you how this is done and never, ever, ever consider yourself a regular investor ever again. Like we're graduating you from that. You don't have to live in that world anymore. Um, Cause quite frankly, uh, there's a better way to do it. And like I said, wake up and look in the mirror tomorrow and say, okay, you know what? I'm doing something proactive to grow my business or go back to doing the same stuff. I sincerely hope you don't do that. Yeah, this is guys. This is a tremendous program or I wouldn't be doing this with Jason. You know, I don't, I don't, put out garbage stuff. So if you want to do this, hop on this, get the bonuses, go to tdbtoolbox.com, grab this. And Jason, I want to thank you for coming on tonight and spending a couple hours going through this for everybody. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you Sunday to watch football. 
Yeah, it'll be fun. We can have a good time. So thanks everybody for being here. Okay. And Jason, thank you again for coming. And hey, no uh, click the website and uh, we'll see you on the inside. Yeah, can't wait. All right. Bye, everybody.